Hey friends, thank you so much for joining us, both our Audacious family, as well as those that are across the globe, because we know many of you join from different countries all over the place. It's such a joy that you can join us. Thank you for your time. This week, we are continuing the final few devotionals as we go through the journey of the book of Jude. This time, we are looking at the concept of staying in, just as Pastor Darren touched upon Yesterday, he kicked us off with this concept, stay in the Father's love. We are looking at how we want to be a people that stay in God's love. Not a people that are drawn in, led away, taken out by the devil's lies, strategies and his wicked ways. And we know he has many wicked ways. But he has nothing new, nothing fresh. He's a deceiver that copies now, let's look at what happens when you stay in God's love. Jesus says this in John chapter 15, verses 5 to 9, NIV version. Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have, have I loved you. Now remain in my love. Amen. Remain in my love. How key is that? When we stay in God's love, we discover our source of strength. Don't forget, the joy of the Lord is our strength and our stronghold. It makes us stronger and it's where we can go for protection. Just take a look at this part again. Jesus saying, I am the vine and you are the branches. We are connected. We are part of the same family. We are connected. If you remain in me and I in you, you'll bear much fruit. We will see growth. We will prosper as God wants us to do in every way. We will bear much fruit. Apart from Christ, we can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, says Jesus, you are like a branch that's thrown away. A branch that withers shrinks, shrivels up, and such branches are then picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. Now you do not want to be picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. We do not want that fire. We do not want to be burned. The fire that we want is the flame inside our hearts burning bright for Jesus, the flame that should never go out. Now if we are going to contend for the faith like we've been talking about through this Jude series, if we are to fight the good fight, if we are to finish this race, to not grow weary, to not be worn out, to not quit, then we must know how to keep ourselves going. It's vitally important. Now, we all need fueling for life. We are humans. We are weak. We are in a broken world. We were all sinners. We are all sinners. And we can't do this on our own. We need Jesus. The Bible specifies that when we are separated, when we're apart from Jesus, we cannot do anything on our own. Now, we think we can. How often do we think, I can do this on my own, I don't need Jesus? Many are the plans and purposes of a man, but it's God that establishes our steps. That light and lamp to our path, Jesus Christ, we keep our eyes fixed on him. The world, now the world loves to give us fixes, but they're temporary fixes. The world loves us to look into our inner selves. You have the strength within. You can go to your friends and they will do everything for you. We look for our power and our strength from sources elsewhere. Quick fixes, moments of pleasure. We can think that certain positions and titles even or the accumulation of stuff and wealth 
brings us strength and stability. Well, some of you might be thinking, that is true. And they can for a season, for a short moment. But just stop and think, what happens if all that was taken away? What would remain? We must stay in God's love and know that he alone is our source of strength. God alone is the one, capital O again, the one that re-energizes us, refreshes us, restores what's broken. He renews what has been lost. Remember, our Lord will restore the years that the locust has eaten. He is the one that reignites, reignites faith, hope and love within us. The greatest of which is love. So stay in God's love. If it is indeed the greatest, stay in God's love. Be connected to our Father in heaven. Receive his love. Open your hearts to receive the love that is being given to you, that is being shown to you. It brings you strength. It gives you the ability to face challenges. It gives you the ability to go again. Do not be judged by how many times you fall down but how many times you get back up again. And with God's love, you can keep getting back up and you can keep pressing forward in Jesus' name. You have the ability to stand, the ability to keep your faith alive in Jesus' name. So, my friends, as you're watching this, please remember, stay in God's love. It's where we find our source of strength, not in the world. John 15 verse 5 says that apart from him, we can do nothing. We cannot stress that enough to you. Psalms chapter 18 verses 28 and 29 NIV version. It says, You Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. Amen. Not just a wall. A mountain. With our God, we can overcome anything. Through Jesus Christ, we can achieve anything. All things are possible with our God who can do immeasurably more than we can ever think or imagine. Still in the book of Psalms, this time, chapter 46, verses 1b to 3, NIV. God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear. Though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Amen. We will not fear. We will not be anxious. We will not doubt in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. We can't wait to see you for tomorrow's devotion. We have some great content coming up. Don't forget, if you've missed previous devotions, go to youtube.com forward slash Audacious Church and you can find the information there, all the video content, past sermons, all sorts of stuff. And do not forget, we know some of you have already started fasting for 40 days because Lent started recently after Shrove Tuesday. But don't forget... We have our own 21 days of prayer and fasting that starts from this Friday, the 1st of March. Visit audaciouschurch.com forward slash 21 days. That's the number two, the number one and days. Audaciouschurch.com forward slash 21 days. I don't know why I'm doing that, but 21 days. Sign up for a 30 minute prayer slot. And don't forget... It is so good to pray with somebody else, not just on your own. So get somebody to pray with. Get a prayer partner. Get many prayer partners. And also join us on the daily 7am online prayer meetings. And then plan your fast. And as a footnote, staying away from Netflix and your phone does not count as a full fast. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. See you again very soon. Bye for now.